been go check again. It's uh, a little bit earlier than last time, but um, it's the same kind of direction. We're heading on a similar route as to the first journey we took in Kauai when we bought her maybe four years ago. So yeah, it's a little bit of a weird feeling. We're uh, not gonna probably come back here again. And yeah, I think we're a little bit more experienced than last time. And <laughs> <laughs> Definitely more experienced. Well, we're just tacking uh, today. So we're heading up towards Marmaris. Uh, this time of year, it's always a little bit tricky choosing days to, to sail. Um, the winds have blown from the north pretty well all summer, so the Meltimi. So you've, you've got to pick a day that it hasn't been blowing 30 knots, so you're getting big swells. Now the swells are reasonable today, but um, yeah, they're not too bad. How good is it to be sailing? sometimes feel like you're never going to reach your destination, but it's a must if you want to limit your engine use. We have found Turkey to be a fantastic sailing destination, winds not quite as strong as the Cyclades, with more protection creating less swell, which makes for great sailing up into the wind and downwind. I guess I'm meant to be on watch, aren't I? Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> but you uh, somehow just keep ending up not on watch and then I end up being back there. You are the captain. It always falls <laughs> back on you. Lucky, I'm always on guard. When's he going to sneak off this time? <laughs> As we headed for Kumbaluku, our anchorage for the night, the winds peaked at 28 knots, slightly higher than predicted, and a great opportunity to get some experience in different conditions. Although sailing in strong winds takes a lot of concentration, it's a real thrill, but it wouldn't be long before we were in a calm anchorage and we could relax and consider our day. Well, it's early morning. Um, we're going to sail today from Marmaris um, to Dacha, or a bay near Dacha. Um, yesterday we had, I'd say, some of our best sailing. It was really strong winds, um, sitting about 45 degrees, so we're beating up into it. Um, and we sustained between six to eight. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun sail. Um, usually, well, since we've been back over here, we've We've had mostly downwind sailing, but um, because we're going back towards the north, um, you, know, you get the Maltimi this time of year, so you're always going to be beating back up into it. So um, yeah, it was, it was good to challenge ourselves today and or yesterday, sorry. And um, yeah, we had had a lot of fun. So yeah, looking forward to today's sailing, which will be totally different. Power up early, we're just about to leave. Um, Trace is <laughs> eager to leave. <laughs> She's hurrying me up even on this video going, 
Well, we don't already. usually take an hour to drink your coffee, so we, we don't have that time. <laughs> 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 Alright, wrap it up. <laughs> Look at that glorious sunrise. Pretty special. Yeah. Don't look, don't look closely at the boat. It is disgusting. Yeah, we've been anchoring in a bit of mud lately, and we don't have a freshwater hose up here, unfortunately. On the to-do list. Anyway, uh, great day. Get around this corner, and there should be wind blowing on our beam. Oh, excited. That's the plan. just over there so I think they're playing with us a bit and um, yeah we're currently going about four knots we've got uh, about eight knots of wind just forward of the beam so it's not the best not as good as yesterday but it is picking up throughout the day so hopefully we get a little bit more and we're currently cruising past Shipwick Anchorage and we've got about 35 nautical miles to go to get to an anchorage near Dutcha. Yeah, we got some uh, strong winds coming in the coming days. Yes, up to 38 I think. It wasn't long until we would spot white caps on the horizon and we knew the winds would be picking up. It's something you need to be paying attention to, with winds changing from 8 knots to 25 knots in a matter of seconds and a sail change necessary before reaching the gusting. It's very common to see the Turkish Coast Guard, and with the migrant crisis sweeping across Europe, it's even more so. I always feel a little nervous, even though we've done nothing wrong. Does anyone else feel like this? <laughs> As we turned into the straight past Simi, the winds would drop and I would be put in charge while Trace had a rest. During strong winds, Trace almost always is at the helm and I look after the sails. This partnership works for us, but it's also great to mix it up and learn both skills. Hold on. We're right on the edge of needing to reef. The point in which we reduce the sail area is dependent on a number of factors. Mountains cause gusting, which means the winds are less predictable, therefore we would reef earlier. Open areas, the winds are generally more consistent, so we could keep more sail up for longer. The size of the swell is another factor you have to consider, but not here as it was minimal. Actra is 10 nautical miles east of Dutcha, where we had heard of a protected anchorage to sit out the strong winds predicted for the coming days. We didn't know much about the village, and to our surprise, it was a cute little place full of holiday homes, restaurants, and people relaxing, enjoying the beach, with bicycles the transport of choice. What's on, so? It's a good vibe. Oh. Holiday vibe here in the town, and then the markets are on, added yeah. bonus. Yeah, we found out we were speaking to a local, one of the locals, and he said Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so. Yeah, well, he said the bazaar. Yo. Yo. Here's my ride. So uh, we're having a nice little chill this morning. We've had a couple of big sailing days, which were awesome. Really good winds. 
we got in yesterday and tried to anchor in uh, the anchorage next door which has really good reviews but it was pretty full there are about 20 boats in there so we uh, came around the corner to a very similar anchorage but um, the swell actually comes in here so we're that's why there's no one in here obviously <laughs> it's not too bad but um we're gonna go see today how the other anchorage is well this bay is a little bit better than the last bay next door no swell just a little bit of wind but yeah it's nice we're gonna eat comfortably watch some netflix and have a beautiful view life's good it is check out the moon Well, the plan is we're going to go up to the big flag and then hopefully we can keep hiking up to the top of the mountain. Should have a nice view over both bays. We don't have our drone anymore, so we can't really check it. Uh, our drone is broken, so this will be a good opportunity to see from the top. Cool walks that have awesome views at the top. No signs, just yeah. find it. Yeah. With 30 plus knots forecast, we headed back to Kauai. We were anchored in weed and sand, and being a new anchorage, wanted to test the conditions. The anchorage was fantastic, gusting to a maximum of 22 knots, allowing for a pleasant, stressless night. Well, we've just seen a heap of fire trucks go past, like probably 10, and we've seen another seven or eight water helicopters fly past and um, so we did a bit of googling and uh, there's a, a fire just near Dacha so we were planning to go tomorrow and <laughs> took a little bit more notice we thought there was just a few clouds in the sky but it's actually the smoke um, I don't think it's actually at Dacha though is it I think it's between Dacha. here and Marmaris yeah yeah hmm. um, so yeah it's Last year they had some really bad fires in Turkey, so it's hopefully it's not a, uh, a continuing theme for the for the rest of the summer, as it has been really hot and windy. So mm. it's not as windy tomorrow, so hopefully that will help. Is that? Oh, that's the moon coming up over the mountain. I was like, is that a fire over there? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Firstly, you look really pretty this morning. Huh? Thanks. I made a bit more effort because uh, we're celebrating your birthday today. Again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a week since your actual birthday and uh, we've recovered a little bit more now. <clears throat> so we're planning to head to Dacha and maybe head out for dinner. Yeah, it's very exciting. Maybe pizza. Mm, yes, you've been wanting pizza. Found a good little cafe or restaurant that sells good looking pizza. Good looking pizza? What's good a good looking pizza. pizza got on it? Well, for you, it's got salami and uh, cheese. cheese. <laughs> That's about all you require. And a thinnish base. Hmm. What's a good looking pizza for you? Just out of curiosity? Uh, it would be probably lots of veggies. So it's pretty well And a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I reckon we can sort that out tonight. We got up early to get some wins, but uh, oh well. But what happens, we've only got, well we've got 11 nautical miles. The thing is though, in this anchorage, it could be it could be blowing 40 knots out there and we'd be still calm, so let's wait and see. Yeah, true, it looks, the water looks a little bit disturbed on the horizon, so uh, fingers crossed.
great feeling just to get a little bit of sailing in when we can. We're uh, going about four knots. We've got nine knots of true wind, eight knots of apparent. So, yeah, it's all good. We don't want to get there too early because we're planning to have a beer when we get there for your birthday. And it's only 9.30, so. Wow, that's way too early. <laughs> Exactly, so we're trying to drag it out just a little bit longer to a more suitable hour. As we cruised into Datcha, we were able to view a number of water scoopers in action, picking up six tons of water at a time and dumping them on the fires near Datcha. It's a sad time with so many fires burning through Europe and devastating the environment. Well, it's hard not to get excited about uh, just checking the anchor. This water is so crystal clear beautiful blue and so hot today so it's gonna check the anchor um, people have mentioned a bit of rubbish in the water um, like old industrial rubbish so I believe that's further north than where we are but I'm just gonna go check it anyway so yeah all should be good looks pretty clear next time we explore one of our favorite Turkish towns Dacha which is full of life and a great place to anchor Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a like and let us know in the comments. See you next time. Thanks.